So one of the big things uh, that I love about us doing what we do is all the little babies. Um, these are little albino. Uh, al oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> these are little albino baby cory catfish. Sorry, it's a mouthful. And um, they're just super duper cute. Um, very cute. Uh, little silver, I guess, patches on the side of their cheeks. And it's pretty adorable. And um, they, I want to say they blink, but <laughs> they kind of just roll their eyes downwards. And it's, it's pretty, that's pretty adorable, also. Um, these guys were one of the first fish that I actually got. And uh, the two I got ended up being a mating pair. So, uh, yeah. To say the least, I uh, got some babies. They are, I do not regret it for a second. They, they're absolutely amazing. I highly recommend little Cory cats to everyone. We've rehomed a few of them. We give them uh, completely free. Uh, anybody who wants them has a tank set up, an established tank set up, and has, um, you know, enough space for them, proper conditions and tank mates, stuff like that, knows how to properly acclimate fish, they get them completely free. They just, you know, get asked a handful of questions and if they, I guess, pass the test, then they can have some free animals. Uh, same thing has worked out with a couple critters. Uh, we just rehomed a snake recently, beautiful corn snake that we rescued. Someone left in a house uh, for a minimum, at least three weeks. Uh, the corn snake, a ball python, and two geckos were left in a home. And uh, they were pretty malnourished when we rescued them, but they're, they were looking a lot better already. Uh, by the time we rehomed the corn snakes, beautiful. And um, she's in a nice new enclosure now. The woman who wanted to take her didn't want to breed her, didn't want anything. Her husband had a snake, and she said she absolutely loved it, and she wanted one to kind of cuddle and love on her own. And the snakes loves it going on adventures, slithering around and stuff like that. So I figured it'd be kind of perfect if it's getting, you know, a lot of attention. Um, so right off the bat, she got the snake for free. Uh, it was completely super easy decision. She had bought all the supplies for the snake and whatnot, so it's hers. Uh, but yeah, we rehomed a lot of little guys. I'd say up to 150 crayfish have been rehomed. Uh, Little albinos, oof, hard to say, probably like 30. 30 albinos have been rehomed. Uh, gold twin bar platies, probably, that one's hard. I think I rehomed like 20, 25 of them. They didn't have too many babies. Um, these little pest snails here. These guys just breed on their own. They don't need a mate, so they have babies like crazy. We rehomed hundreds of them. Uh, so yeah, it's a pretty fun hobby. Uh, once you get to the point where you just have a big heart, I guess you just start to rehome creatures to where they need to be, not uh, not making a quick buck off of them. And that's what I'm happy to be doing. So this is the first tank of many. I just thought I'd make a quick video of, you know, staring at it big time so everyone can kind of enjoy it. <laughs> See all the little guys swimming around in the weeds. Right, it's actually moss, but still. <laughs>